lot of people ask me about the permit process and what all is involved. So I wanna take some time over the next couple of videos to just break down that process into its different parts and explain the overall thing so you know what to expect, whether you're a contractor or a home builder, first time home builder, a uh, home builder from another state and you're moving to Florida and you're looking to know what all is involved in that process. This first part is gonna be about the application process. What all paperwork do you need to be involved with the permit process? Hi, my name is Leslie and I've been practicing architecture for a little over 20 years and the process has changed immensely. So I want to tell you that for that application for a residential home, it is a lot and you're going to need architectural or engineering services to help you out. I explained the difference in those in another video, but for our purposes, we're gonna move forward with the architectural set of plans, which are pretty similar. And all of the things that are needed on that are more than just floor plan and elevation. They uh, require, every plan review office requires a, a survey and to see what's happening with the rainwater runoff. They wanna see the driveway, they wanna see the apron. They have this list of items they want to see on those architectural set of plans specific for that area in Florida. They've got specific wind codes, specific flood zones, uh, your HOA approvals, if you've got any of those. Uh, they want to see uh, your building materials, your Florida product approval numbers, a whole litany of items that are needed just on those architectural set of plans for you to have as part of your overall application. Of course, the building application itself, uh, filled out typically by a contractor on occasion, homeowners can fill those out. Uh, second is a property survey, whether you're adding on to your home or building new. You'll need a pretty current survey showing your property line, showing what's existing on that space. And in addition to the architectural plans that are showing what's existing and what you're adding on to, what you're building, what you're tearing down, those kind of things. Uh, and then the next one is the energy code analysis. Those are done by a third party person. I coordinate with a person that helps me out all the time on new homes and additions. It's generally eight to 14 pages of an energy code analysis. Sometimes your contractor has a person that does them. Sometimes your architect or your engineer can work with an energy code analysis report. But those are the four main items that you need to have just for your application process. Building application, survey, your architectural set of plans and that energy code analysis form. Those together will get you in the door for your permit application. Now, whether that's printed off by two copies, whether that's digitally sealed by your local architect, that is gonna be uh, office to office, uh, plan reviewer to plan reviewer different on how they accept those. But those are the four main items that you need almost 99% of the time to get in for permit. We're gonna talk about what all is in those plans and the process for what to expect next. Hope that helps.